In a previous video in this course, which I've linked here and below, I showed you how to interact with the REST API of a iOS XE device. We used the Postman application to send commands to that device. So as an example, by using the REST API, we could retrieve a list of interfaces. We could also create a new interface or delete an interface using Postman. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to interact with the REST API of the iOS XE device using a Python script. Remember, this is where we're going. When we've got many, many devices, we want to interact programmatically with those devices using a well-known exposed API. So rather than having to manually type commands on the CLI, we're going to programmatically send commands to the device to get it to do things such as create an interface or just re to retrieve information from that device. It again doesn't make a lot of sense if you've only got one device makes a lot more sense when you've got many devices. In this video, however, I just wanna get you started with the basics. So we're going to interact with a single device, a iOS XE device hosted in the DevNet sandboxes. This is an always on sandbox, so you can access the device just like I am and try things for yourself. Okay, let's get started. In this example, I'm running an Ubuntu 18.043 virtual machine in VMware Fusion on my Mac. Now you could do it directly on a Mac, but I'm gonna do it in Ubuntu so that if you're using a Windows machine, I would suggest you run an Ubuntu shell or run an Ubuntu VM or something. Seriously, Linux is the way to go. So just learn Linux. So I'm gonna do this by creating a file called xe.py. In a previous video, I showed you how to install Python on Ubuntu. So I'm assuming that's already done. What I've done here is created a script that imports requests. Requests is a great way to interact with a web interface such as a REST API. So again, rather than reinventing the wheel, I'm just gonna import that library and then you'll see that my code is very simple. I'm going to allow self-signed certificates. So I'm going to add this so that it ignores self-signed certificates. Here are our credentials. So I'll copy that to my Ubuntu computer, paste that in. That's the first part of the code. Second part of the code is, notice the URL. This is exactly the same URL that we used in Postman. It's this URL, it's exactly this URL but I've got that in a Python script now. Notice the headers. Here we've got content type, application, accept, application, yang data JSON. That is the same as here. Now, as I said, you can get away just using accept, but for a post, I had to use accept and content type. So here I've just got both in the script. And what we're gonna do is run a get. This is a variable that stores that information. So we're doing requests.get. This is a method of requests. We are going to use this URL, specify our username and password, which was specified over here. Headers that we're using are these headers, and we're not going to verify our certificates. So I'll copy that and paste that in to the Ubuntu server. So here is our entire script, very simple, only a few lines. And then I'll save that script. And I'm gonna run python3xe.py. And hopefully we'll see the interfaces on the router. And there you go, all the interfaces on the router. There's Harvey once again who configured gigabit two on the router. Okay, but just to prove the point, let's go to Postman and let's create interface loopback one, two, three, four and click send and go back to the Python script and run it again. Notice we've created loopback one, two, three, four. Let's create loopback one, two, three, five. That tells me it's created run my script again, 
there it is. And just for fun, let's duplicate this. And what we'll do is in the body say, let's create a loopback of 2000. And let's say I can see this using Python. And let's make this 2.2.2.2. .2 Click Send. It's now been created back in Ubuntu, Python 3 xe.py. There you go. Just a quick interruption. In this video, I showed you how to use get, but I wanna show you more than that. So I've created an additional video where I show you how to use post to create interfaces, delete, how to delete interfaces. But I'm not just gonna show you how to do that for one interface. I'm gonna show you how to use a loop to do that for multiple interfaces. But the video got too long, so I didn't wanna add it to this video. So just note there's more coming than just this video. This is a short video just showing you how to use a basic Python script using a get to retrieve information from a router. But in a subsequent video, I'm gonna show you how to do a lot more than this. Okay, so I've shown you how to get a list of interfaces using a REST API and Postman. Then I showed you how to do that using a Python script. I showed you how to create interfaces using Postman. I showed you how to delete interfaces using Postman. Postman is a great way to get started. If you're not sure about the coding, then use the graphical user interface to get started. I've once again given you all the steps in this PowerPoint presentation. So download the PowerPoint presentation and just follow the steps and you should be able to do this yourself. Okay, hopefully you've learned something. Hopefully you're now more comfortable using a REST API. But in addition, to help me, please like this video. Please consider subscribing to my YouTube channel and clicking on the bell to get notifications. That really does help me with the YouTube robots. So if you don't mind doing that, I'd really appreciate it. I wanna wish you all the very best. Yeah, yeah, yeah.